Miriam An Yi was born deep in the rainforest of Malaysian Borneo. For most of her life, she and her family drifted through the jungle, never living in a permanent home. She is a Panan, one of the nomadic indigenous who have long hunted and gathered in the remote interior of Borneo. Miriam is the first generation of her family to settle down. She and her husband are raising four children in Long Lutan, a small village situated on rolling hills in ancient forests, hours from the nearest city by boat or four-wheel drive. For the first time in her life, Miriam is going to school. This adult literacy program called Kidab in Malai is a pilot project of the Malaysian Ministry of Education. The initiative was developed to reach remote indigenous and the Oran Asli, or original people in Malaysia. The program not only provides a basic education for parents, but also helps them understand the value of schooling for their children. I never went to school. My mother and father and I were born and live in the jungle. There were no schools in the jungle. Now I know the ABCs and I can read, write and count to 10 to 20. Now I can help my children a bit with their school work. The adult literacy class is in such high demand in Long Lutan that many parents are on a waiting list. Success comes on the heels of a long-running program supported by the United Nations International Children's Emergency Fund, or UNICEF, to boost enrollment rates and achievement in rural areas, particularly among Oran Asli children in peninsular Malaysia and indigenous children in distant areas of Sabah and Sarawak. Long Luten Primary School faces challenges unlike schools in many more accessible areas. Some students must travel hours on foot to attend class, and they often face pressure from parents to work to help supplement the family's income. I say, if you can, you only can change through education, because with a good education, you can get a better job. With a better job, then you have a better life. Teachers try to connect with children using fun, interactive teaching techniques. Classes involve educational games and other materials designed to stimulate and engage students and encourage them to stay in school. My hope is for my children to be ambitious. I want them to be successful. Maybe my daughter will be a nurse. My son, Andy, will be the teacher. That will make me very happy. As more parents like Miriam learn the importance of education, more children will be able to study and increase their potential. TITV Weekly.